From what I saw in these comments, most of you guys are asking me about the VSD plugins. So let's start with the VSD plugins in LMMS. Virtual Studio Technology, and we always call it VSD plugin. We all know that VSD plugins nowadays is very important no matter you are using the professional DAW software such as Ableton Live, FL Studio, or free DAW software just like me. But when we say free, it's obvious we're gonna have a lot of the questions and problems that might face him by us. To be honest, throughout using LMMS, I'm still not facing any kind of the problem, so it might be very fresh for me. But I will still try my best to help. Alright, let's start with answering some questions before I show you guys how to use the VST plugins in LMMS. There is a lot of non LMMS effect VSTs. It often happens that some of them can lock the graphic users interface anymore, but there's a lot of I'm not sure is it this problem you are facing, but just watch this, if this will help you to solve the problem you meant. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm using a free VLC plugin that are VLL files. Whenever I try to launch an ESE plugin, it cannot lock it. Can you please help me out? Well, probably I think you are the Linux user. I'm actually using Windows, so this is a very new thing for me. But from what the resources I found, the Linux LMMS installation requires Wine install before these plugins can be used. Link for the wine is at the description below. Please answer me. I use LMMS and Mac. Let me tell you, this might not the answer you wish to hear, but listen, listen, listen. If you are using LMMS in Mac, 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 you can't use VST plugins. So far, I still don't find anyone give the clear answer. But yeah, I couldn't help. <laughs> but the only thing I can say is, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I really don't know until when I search for it. So. Yeah, thank you for asking this question. Thank you so much. Why are you running? Why are you running? Alright, this is it. The CPU overload problem that facing in LMMS. Are you ready for the answer? This might be the answer you wish to know. Or maybe not. So, my answer is... I'm sorry, I don't know how to solve the CPU overload problem. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second please, hold on a second please. Let me explain this. There got the reason why I'm saying like that. So what I actually found that is not only LMMS were facing a CPU overload too, but even the professional DAW software like Ableton Live, FL Studio, and so on have that problem too. So what's the reason? Well, I couldn't say I'm very confident for my answer, but here's what I found from the majority reason. Intel i7 processors are an absolute necessity for music production. Most DAWs insist on 8GB as the minimum amount for adequate performance, 16GB being the recommendation. However, 8GB is plenty of RAM for beginners and entry-level users learning the basics. It all depends on your level of experience and the size of your projects. Anyway, I also found one article that explained even more clearer about how much RAM for music production. Link is at the description below too. 
If any one of you know the other reasons about the CPU overload in LMMS, comment down below and let us know. I will be very appreciated. How to use the VSD plugin in LMMS? Let's do this. Step 1. Go and download the VSD plugin you want. Alright, I know some of you guys think that this is so extra. But I just want to show you guys step by step so you guys will know what I want to deliver to you guys. Alright? So let's move on. Step 2. After finish downloading the VSD plugin that you want to use, go to download there and click show in folder. When you go to the file there, just pick out the DRL file, copy and paste to the folder for your own VSD plugin collection. Why I'm saying so, well, later you will know. Step 3. Open the LMMS. Go to edit. Click the setting. And click the path. As you can see, we got a lot of the directories, so we want our plugins go to LMMS directly. Click the file for VSD plugin directory. I set my folder already as you can see, so I'm not going to change it. Step 4. Well, we all set. We can use the VSD plugin already. See, when we click this file, it directly go to the collection we set just now. So this is how you actually found the VSD plugin you just downloaded. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial videos. For me, it's actually not really the tutorial videos. It's kind of like the things for me to learn as well. So really glad that I made this video. It's a very challenging video to be honest, because I know I actually made some of the mistakes. And yeah, it's not perfect, but I really learned a lot of things. If you guys like today's video, help me share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Or if you guys got any question, mm, should I? <sighs> Man. Alright, just comment down below and let me know if you got any question. Yep, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video.